segment it is try to design a binary ripple counter using T flip flops. So we will begin with a 3 bit binary ripple counter which counts from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And then we will also see how this can be extended to a 4 bit binary ripple counter. Right? Now, since we are using a T flip flop, if I observe the LSB which is Q0, right? So here what happens? These are the clock pulses which are given to the T flip flop, isn't it? So now the clock pulse is given to the T flip flop. I give 1 as the input and this is Q and this happens to be the LSB Q0. So when I give 1 as the input, we know that when 1 is given to a toggle, a T flip flop, the output toggles. So we assuming that the flip flop gets triggered during the positive edge of the clock, let us observe the waveforms here. So during the positive edge, so initially we assume that the output is 0. So when you have the positive edge of the clock coming in, the output changes to Z from 0 to 1 and then during the next positive edge it changes from 1 to 0, it toggles and this continues. So at every positive edge of the clock we find that the output of Q0, the output of the first flip flop Q0 toggles from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 alternately. So this is what we observe. So we get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Right? Now next, Q1 is the next state. Right? So what do we need? The first two should be 0 and the next two should be 1. So how do I design the circuit? For the first two conditions, it should be Z. And then I need a 1 here for the next two states. Now observing this, this is 0 for the first, it is 0 and then Q1 changes its state from 0 to 1 at the falling edge of Q0, right? So I get a 1 here. Similarly, it has to drop down from 1 to 0 at the falling edge of Q0. So again it becomes 0 for the next two states and then 1. So I get 0 and then I get 1. So this is what we observe. But this flip flop T changes its state during the positive edge and not during the falling edge, during the rising edge. So what do we do? So what is done is we, we have the next T flip flop, of course the input is 1 because it has to toggle. So the output we have Q and Q complement. So the complement of the output Q is given as the clock input. Right? So now what happens when Q0 is, when the edge of Q0 is falling, I have Q bar which is rising because it is the complement of Q0, right? So therefore, I have a rising edge appearing here wherein the state of Q1 changes from 0 to 1. So similarly here, when you have a falling edge of Q0, here what I get is a rising edge. So therefore, the output of Q1 changes from 1 to 0. Similarly here, during the falling edge, of Q0, I get a rising edge here at Q bar, okay, which is given as the clock input. So therefore, the state changes from 0 to 1 and similarly from 1 to 0. Okay, so since I need to change this state, the state of the next flip-flop, T flip-flop, during the falling edge of Q0, but the clock, but the flip-flop actually changes its state during the rising edge. So what is done? Q bar is given as the clock input. Q naught is given as the clock to the next flip flop. So we get Q 
Q1 here. Right? So now to get Q2, again what do we observe? The first four is 0 and the next four is 1. So I have a 0 here and I need a 1 and then I need 0. So again what we observe, the falling edge of Q1, Q2 changes from 0 to 1. So we follow the same procedure. So Q bar of the, the second flip-flop is given as the clock input. So this is the clock input. And of course 1 here, this is Q and this is Q2. So during the falling edge of Q1 here, during the falling edge of Q1, I have a rising edge which acts as a clock to the next flip-flop. So therefore Q2 changes its state from 0 to 1. So during the falling edge of Q1 again, I have a rising edge which appears at Q bar here, which acts as a clock input to the next flip-flop, the third flip-flop. So here the state changes from 1 to 0 again. So this is how we can get a 3-bit binary ripple counter. Now can this be extended to a 4-bit binary ripple counter? So what happens? I have Q3. So I, we observe that the first 8 states are 0. And then I have 1. And the same thing repeats. So we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, up to 1, 1, 1, right? So this becomes a 4-bit binary ripple counter. So if I have Q3 here, for the first 8 clock pulses, okay, we have a 0. And then I need a 1 for the next 8 clock pulses. So let me draw 8 clock pulses again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? So this entire set gets repeated here. Right? Because the counting again begins from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. So I have 0. At every rising edge of the clock, Q0 changes its state. So again here rising edge. So at the rising edge of the clock, Q0 will change its state. Okay, so we get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and the 0. So next, what about Q1? At the falling edge of Q0. But the falling edge of Q0, Q1 changes its state, isn't it? So here I have 0, 0. The falling edge of Q0, Q1 changes from 0 to 1. Again at the falling edge, it changes from 1 to 0. Again at the falling edge, it changes from 0 to 1. And then again, 1 to 0. So what about Q2? At uh, the falling edge of Q1, Q2 changes its state, right? So it changes its state from 1 to 0. And again at the falling edge here, it changes its state from 0 to 1. And then again 1 to 0. So again at the falling edge of Q2, I want Q3 to change its state from 0 to 1. And again at the falling edge of Q2, Q3 should change from 1 to 0. So finally I would have 1, 1, 1, 1. Right? So what is done? I can just extend it to a 4-bit binary ripple counter by having another T flip-flop. T is given to 1. And what about the clock? Q bar of the third flip-flop is given as the clock input. 
and we obtain the output at Q, which is R Q3. Right? So here I have a 4 bit ripple counter which counts from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1, and again starts counting from 0. So this process of counting from 0, all zeros to 1s, and again back to 0, 0, 0, 0 will keep repeating. Okay? So we can realize a simple binary ripple counter, maybe a 3 bit or a 4 bit or a 2 bit. For a 2 bit, I use only two flip flops. If I want a 5 bit ripple counter, which comes from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 5 ones, I can extend it further by using another T flip flop where Q bar of the fourth flip flop is given as the clock input to the next. So this can be extended. Right? So this is a very simple design where we can realize a binary ripple counter using T flip flops.